right, here he is for my money, Michael, the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You watch the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arc. It's unbelievable because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters. Some differences in height and reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 35 wins, 16 losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Omaha, Nebraska, Anthony Lionheart Smith. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi! All right, Grimpen rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, the back your corners, come out for yeah. You ready? You ready? Let's go, guys. All right, so here we go, round one. I can barely hear myself think in this arena right now. Two of the most dominant, well-rounded fighters in this division. I mean, these guys are the best of all the mixed martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. All right, early round one here. Big reach advantage, DC. We'll see if he can employ that patented jab. Yes, he has to maintain distance. He's the taller guy. So every time his opponent tries to enter, he's gonna have to take something on the way inside. Joy gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Gotta shore up the defense here, though. How good is this action about a minute in? I think I'm gassing out just watching this thing. I'm exhausted trying to call all the strikes that these two men are throwing at each other. What a fun fight. Yeah, hate to be the punch counter tonight. <laughs> Look at how he 
turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Joy gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Back and forth we go here! Well, he misses with the left punch there. Oh, that left hand is on point. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Real quick leg kick. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Choi. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. And just misses with that big right hand. Oh, big punch lands. with that punch. He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh, big left hook there. Just misses with the right hook. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Choi shot there is blocked. Straight right, he misses. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Pretty good right hand. He continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Dig and kick. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. And he landed the right hand there. Seconds winding down in the opening round. Great punch. Blocks the shot. Well, what a round it was, and how about that flying Superman punch at the end of the round? Not a lot of fighters will try it. He did, he executed. And it worked, right? No discouragement from his opponent to make him not try it. Why not try it? It's working. So why not try it again? If his opponent isn't careful, he will get knocked out and be on a highlight reel for the rest of the time. Your pace is way too crazy. Okay, ready? Round two. You ready? Go, fight. Punch coming. It's blocked. Nice leg kick land. Kick is good by Choi. Oh, nice right hand. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Lands with the right hand. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter of eight. Punch 
by Choi. Just missed with that right hand. How good is that right hand? Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Oh, hook to the head by the Korean Super Bowl. Lands flush with that right hand. Big call for Brush Lands. Now he gets back in range. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Counters with a straight right hand. That'll work. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Beautiful kick. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Head kick lands. Oh, just missed on the overhand right. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Big punch land off the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Ooh, head kick lands was hurt. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Nice straight one. You wonder if the offensive fighters can start to get frustrated here. Most skipped on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Nice connection with the punch there. It's hard to recall time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Dude's in a good flow stage, landing punch after punch. Big kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. One minute to go. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. Watch the ability to land from anywhere. You got the turn on in that kick. So once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. Right hand just misses. Oh, nice job to get the guard up there as the strike is blocked by Choi. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. And that's the end of round number two. Right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, here we go, DC. Our next round is underway, and he's chasing some punch stat records tonight. That was some serious volume and efficiency in the previous round. Normally, you see that in boxing, where a guy just throws so many strikes. But this man has taken it to the outside, looking to break all the punch records before the night is over. 
Just missed with the left there. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Ooh, big shot lands. So he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations to it. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make it pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. Wild attempt with the right hand there. You can't take many of those best check. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. It's such a fast leg kick. Nice strike. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Blocks the shot. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds the knockout. Let's get some offense. Let's get going. Oh, and there's that head kick. He kept talking about the opening that would be there on Thursday. Those words proving prophetic right there. I mean, his... Vision and his timing allows him to get that technique off. What a punch. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these, man. You gotta check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Do you need to get you? Kick to the body by Choi. And he connects with a punch there. He's still attached to his body. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, it was Overeem versus Adonis. And you know, they still haven't found Alistair Overeem's head. He got him. Bleeding from his cheek now. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Right hook attempt, that's a miss. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Nice punch there. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. That horn marks the end of the round. There was a lot to like, really, on both sides, but particularly that Superman punch, an absolute thing of beauty. Beautiful attack. Her ability to let loose in the octagon 
is truly a sight to behold. Not many people are willing to try something so risky. All right, so next round underway here, and you've got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Try to establish that jab. Ooh, what a punch. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Come on, buddy, keep your hands up, let's go. Just misses there with the left. Now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on beat street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's going to do to stay in this fight. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, nice strike landed there by the Korean Super Bowl. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Okay. Give me some head movement. Give me some head now. Misses with the right hand. Oh, man, that cut not in a good place, and it's not getting any better. Let's move that head. Let's move that head now. That one stuck in. Nice strike. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Three minutes to go in the round. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Big kick lands. to establish that jab once again. deception with his footwork and again we're a broken record when it comes to the reach advantage certainly helped him out there big kick land just misses with the straight right nice punch land over the top Remain in the round. Oh, man. Oh, head kick blocked, though, by the Korean Super Bowl. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Nice punch land over the top. Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. 
beautiful straight right hand. Wow! And just like that, the fight is over. Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you got to show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliotta is called to stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 49 seconds of round number 4. Declaring the winner by knockout, Anthony Lionheart. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after.